Yo, yo. What up? It's DJ Sus1, the feature presentation. It's Hip Hop Nation, Sivius XM, co host Ali V. What's going on? Usually, people who come on my show got less swag than me because I'm just a swagged out <laughs> motherfucker. But this girl who walked in right now is looking a little bit litty. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Introduce yourself immediately. Hi, you guys. I'm Tammy Rivera. You're so yes. she's so kind and <laughs> what's popping? It. Tammy Family was good. Rara. Life, I can't complain. God is good. <laughs> you got a new look now, right? You changed the hair, and everybody thought it was a haircut. Oh, let's get yeah, the girl no. talk out the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. It's everybody, a quick weave. <laughs> it's a good weave. Yeah, it's a okay. quick weave. It was My husband, great on you. He was scared. He thought I cut it, and then I, he was like, he was he was low key feeling it. When he thought I when he thought I cut it in real life, he was like, yo, you just cut it. I'm like, nah, it's a quick weave. He's like, oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, now you like it. All right, Tammy, what I want to do right now is I want to get the important shit out the way first. Okay. <laughs> do you have any sisters or cousins that look exactly like you? <laughs> let's get it, let's get the important shit out the way, and then we'll talk about a real interview. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I probably, I have two sisters, though. One is younger, one's older. They both married. Waka's a good friend of mine. Like, every time I see him, we, we, he shows a lot of love. Yeah, it's great. Um, but he will knock a nigga out immediately. <laughs> so, how is it... Yo, I need you and Waka to school me uh-huh. on how to keep a relationship in today's generation. Because I've had a... Actually, I had an eight-year relationship once. That's a long time. No, no, it was in and out. We'd break up for a year and get back. So, it's uh, probably more like two years. You know? <laughs> Together. <laughs> but you was comfortable with it because you knew it for Yeah, eight. but it was eight years. And... um. That's the longest relationship I ever had. Everything else, I can't keep a relationship longer than a few months. Damn, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know. Let, it's I'm you. Talking, I'm talking, Maybe it's you. Allie, I'm talking to Tammy. Okay. Oh, single, Allie likes you're single too. Yeah. Tammy's in the marriage for a All long right, time. Right. Now listen, I have no kids. <laughs> I have no kids, right? Oh, really? Yeah, I have no kids. So you're a perfect candidate right now. You know how hard to find a man with no finish, kids? Can I finish swagging myself out? Okay. I got no kids. Okay. Got a 5,000 square foot house. I know it's nothing to y'all, but you know, to <laughs> average people, that's a pretty good situation. Yeah, for New Yorkers too, I right? make okay money. I'm loyal. I'm honest, which most girls say, yeah, right, nigga. I'm, I'm, Are you sure about I'm that? I'm positive. Okay. Now, let's be clear. When I'm single, it's Fuck Fest 2017. But <laughs> okay. when I'm in a well, relationship, I'm single. I mean, I'm so single. So what's the problem? <laughs> when I'm well, in a relationship, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. So I don't know what it is. I think are it's you today's. Sure? You yes, don't know? I'm positive. I will tell you, I have nothing to hide from you. You married. Are you? Con- are you? <laughs> are you? Are you controlling? No, uh, uh, no, 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 no. I can no, tell no. you, Tammy. I okay, can tell can you. T- yeah. Sus one holds grudges. Oh, what's oh, his I'm, sign? He's I'm a, a Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm the grudge holder. Scorpios are controlling too. Go ahead. Uh, here, here we go. go. Also, if a female has ever dated a celebrity sus one will she, not consider no well that, that might have changed a little bit that might have oh, changed might a little have, bit okay new update has sus it might have changed a little bit because I've been in the game a long time mm-hmm. and apparently that doesn't exist so. I mean <laughs> that, hey, nowadays the celebrities are born overnight and on top of that if you're a pretty girl there's gonna be all kinds of you know rich men trying to talk to her nowadays so you can't like X her out now well, it depends on the you gotta reason. You got to have good judgment. It depends. Yeah, I have horrible judgment. That's Please help me. Was. I. It depends on the reason they're dating the person. Uh-huh. Because these girls that I'm around, see, I'm, I'm in the clubs every night. These uh-huh. girls, what I see, they know exactly who the person is when they meet them and what they have and what they... Yeah. So you know how that yeah. goes. And it's a very small percentage. But just because a girl know what you got don't mean that she want what you got. Well, she already got her own. Hmm. That's true. Love it. But apparently what most of the girls that's in my nightclubs are they fucking don't. thotted out. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Oh, man. Damn. You need to move around. Just travel more. All right. I need to get out. Get outside of New York. Advice. No. You know, I come from Baltimore. Why can't to get me from FEMA and, and port me to Atlanta? There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll talk about relationship shit in a few because I really need help. Let's talk about the music. Oh. Uh-huh. All, the, all these kisses. Yes. I I actually heard it. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. I was very impressed. No, no oh, respect. I just didn't know. No, everyone says that. Is I, I get it. <laughs> you know, you know what it is when people present music to me. Mm-hmm. And you, that's like how they present it as an artist first. Right. When other things happen, whether it be athlete it or TV or mm-hmm. anything, you know, so it's, it's like, hard. Oh, okay. It usually is not good. I'll yeah. put it that way. And then when somebody's actually incredible, I'm like, wow, your shit was pretty incredible. Oh, thank you I'm so very... much. I appreciate it. I think that was, don't feel bad. Everyone says that. Like, even when I, um, I've been singing since I was a kid. Like, nobody knows. Like, except for people who went to elementary to high school with me. They mm-hmm. all knew because I was in every talent show and so. school stuff, you know. And then um, my family, of course, I sung at every funeral and every church event. So everybody knew. And they, they were the ones like, why aren't you on Love and Hip Hop telling people you can sing, girl? Why are you doing it? I'm like, it ain't my time. I'm just, mm-hmm. you know, I was just like, my husband didn't even know for two years because I just wanted to play the back. I didn't want nobody to think that I was there for that reason because right. that wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really was... Um, 
trying to. Yes, why I started. I, I've always been into fashion, so I used that as another leverage. I got, that made me happy for a while, but I just kept holding it in, and I was like, you know what? If I ain't gonna do it now, I'm never gonna do it, and I don't care what people think. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a story to tell, and I want to tell it. And I called my friend who's from Baltimore, who's married to Rico Love. And I was like, yo, ask Rico, can I get in the studio with her? And she was like, girl, what? Same thing you said. Like, well, okay. And I said, I'm going to get home. I'm going to send you a video of me singing. And I sent her a video of me singing in Vogue. And she called me back like, bitch, why is you playing? Mm -hmm. And got in the studio with Rico Love. And he executive produced my whole EP. By the way, Rico is one of the most talented motherfuckers in the history of the game. Yes, mm -hmm. he's amazing. He's mad at me right now, but he's one of the most talented, <laughs> <laughs> he's one of the most talented motherfuckers in the game. Nah, you know what it is? I'll, I'll say it real quick. Uh -huh. Real quick. That's my guy. Yeah. He, I have a movie website. He did the movie review for me. He he um, did a record with me and came show that never got came out like that's my guy but I feed into this the, she's looking at me like what would you do no nigga? no no I miss him <laughs> yo I feed into the Instagram ignorance oh. so when that whole Usher thing was going on listen I don't know Usher but I posted uh, one of the funny memes. Oh, one of the memes. Oh, yeah, man. I, po I posted one of the and funny memes. He loves memes. Usher. That's like his brother. Or yeah, something. I know, I know. Yeah, I don't like... mean any harm. No, I know. It was just you a very just, hilarious you, it was meme. Just some funny but stuff. he took it personally and followed me and oh, all man. that. Like, he, got, he got upset. But Rico, I love you, bro. <laughs> We're going to make up. Dang. But no, he's he's actually a genius. <laughs> but you produced your whole project, right? Yeah, the whole EP. And um, he was like, you know, he was, he, I think he was more taken back by my work ethic and like how I didn't try to use my husband to come through. I didn't use my husband's money to pay for the sessions. Like, I said this is something I want to do and I'm going to do it and even I told my husband because I want to be taken, taken serious not only to other people as my own boss because I have my own businesses not only as my own boss but even with my husband I had to kind of prove myself like when he like oh yeah go ahead baby I, I got Waka, you by the way Tammy's here that, that's um, Waka's wife Waka yeah. Flocka <laughs> I think if I remember correctly Waka had to prove himself to his mom right before she yeah so it's like the same home. it was like it was like the same thing so he did the same thing to you yeah it was like it wasn't <laughs> he, I think he believed in me but he was just like oh okay cool and then them start them bags start coming in he like oh what you what you want you want me you need my help you need my, nah I'm, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool I got it so now even now he's like he supports me 100% but it's like yeah it was I had to, I had a point to prove <laughs> All right, let's take a quick break. Tammy's in the building. DJ Suss won the feature presentation. Yo, it's the feature presentation. DJ Suss won co-host Ali V. Yes, sir. Miss Tammy is here. She still hasn't let me know um, if she has any cousins or <laughs> sisters or relatives that look precisely and exactly like her. <laughs> What's good? Nothing. Just hear what you got. Talk, <laughs> talk to me more about um, the music. Talk to me about the process. I know you said you had to prove yourself to Waka. Yeah, definitely. Don't do anything cliche like Tammy featuring Waka. Is that going on there? No. <laughs> you know what? You're the only person who said don't because everybody's like, you're not going to do a song with Waka. And I'm like, no, let me establish my own self as a artist first everybody know who Waka Flocka is but I don't know Tame Rivera as an artist so I don't know I don't want him to jump on nothing yet <laughs> you have the whole aura you have the whole look like you should look like yeah. you could have been signed to Bad Boy in the mid 90s oh, but currently yeah in my opinion are you trying to say I look old no I'm just <laughs> and that's why he couldn't keep and that's why he couldn't keep and now, and now I get saying? it that's why that's yeah you know what I'm saying <laughs> would you team up with anyone from Love and Hip Hop like would you team up with a Mariah Lynn with a Remy Ma with uh, a Jocelyn a Cardi B after she says uh, no let's get rolling with okay. the interview okay uh, <laughs> I, I would definitely pair up with you know with uh, I think Mariah Lynn is actually dope Mm -hmm. Seriously, like, you yeah, know, like besides Love Hip Hop thing, I think she really has some good, like, music. Yeah. Um, of course, Cardi B, definitely Remy, um, Jocelyn Doe, mm -hmm. um, Stevie J is actually a great producer, yeah. besides all of everything else. I think, I, I think Love and Hip Hop kind of shadowed out his actual accolades and what he has done in well, the industry. Mm -hmm. I want to actually say, say something about that because I've said, I've told you in the past because Mariah mm -hmm. Lynn's come on the show a couple of times, mm -hmm. and I always thought she was dope, mm -hmm. but I always said Love and Hip Hop heard her. That's my opinion. I don't mm. know if that's true. And then, you know, K. Michelle made some um, noise with her music. Cardi right. B just went crazy. Yeah. Went crazy. <laughs> and may, I, I don't know what it is about some of these artists. You're very talented. Thank you. And you're killing it out here. So do you think like Cardi B might have broke the love and hip hop curse? Do you think there is a love, love and hip hop curse? I don't even think it's a love and hip hop curse. I think that people, um, like I said, it can be a gift and a curse. Because what people got to understand, like I, I think what I kind of disagree with what you say with Mariah Land. I think she's a dope artist. Um, and I think that love and hip hop before then, knew, no one knew who she was. Well, that's true too. You that's know what I'm saying? So I tell people, it ain't the platform because we all get served sometimes. Can I curse on you? Yeah, you okay. Can curse. <laughs> <laughs> like we all get served. You, you can get served sugar or shit. So sometimes mm -hmm. you gotta, you, I say, take lemons and make lemonade. So if right. you're you're given this platform, and sorry, this is the only platform right now that's fucking with us. You see what I'm saying? So she was given this platform, and now people know who she is. So now she had the she she's the one who can determine whether or not she's gonna go up 
or whether she's going to go down. Because it's easy to get trapped into the love hip hop stigma. It's easy to get in fights. It's easy to get, you know, trying to get in the hype and be like, you know what? I'm about to be popping. I'm going to hit this bitch in her face. But mm-hmm. really, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about your image. Think about what you, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. So I think Cardi B, like, definitely broke the barrier. Like, I told people when I saw her, it was more so like, I don't understand how people could be jealous. I'm like, damn, Shorty, like, you definitely opened the doors for mm-hmm. me. Because now people who, you know, probably like, oh, psh, she from Love and Hip Hop, she sings now. It's like, she, I don't know, Cardi came from there. Let me see what she got. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. Like, it's definitely a gift and the curse, but you can determine what you want to do with it, you know? Mm-hmm. So I turned, uh, real quick on that. Yeah. I turned down Love and Hip Hop a couple of um, uh-huh. years ago. Are you I saying- did too. You did too? Yeah, before so did I, I did I make a mistake? Because, you know, I'm not going to say names, but some of the people, I'm friends with everybody on the show. Mm-hmm. Some of the people told me you should have did it. They said what you said. It depends mm-hmm. on how you use it. Yeah. But then I feel like, then I have other people that say, yeah, right, you film, and then they edit shit all fucked up. And Let me tell you, you something. I right. tell everybody this, and people can blame Mona, say what they want to say. I'm going to be straight up. Can't nobody edit a personality. You get on that show. You can say something, yeah, they can switch your words and edit something, but your aura is going to show regardless. Like, don't blame that on the producers because you have a right. Like, I've, of course, you think it's Seth. I walked in and they done try to egg some shit on. I'd be like, y'all got me fucked up. I'm not right. saying that. I'm out because I don't care. I'm, I'm not going to compromise myself as a woman to get on this show for what? To be the greatest reality star ever? Mm-hmm. No, I got goals. You know what I'm saying? So... When you get up there and they be like, oh, well, she told me to throw the drink. No, bitch, you threw it because you wanted to be right. popping on TV. And now you regret it because you didn't think that it was going dis- it, it to dis- display the way that you saw it. Yeah. But people see things differently. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I don't think that, I feel like if you, I mean, you, you're already, you know, of course, successful in your own right. You still would have been. She's absolutely correct. I got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I feel like that, I don't think it would have took from you because you already are who you are. You're already a made person. So I think that, what can it have done besides add it to your success you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying I feel you and I mean let's be clear like other people have spin off shows like you have Meet the, the um, Flockers now and yeah. now you're gonna start your own thing with your husband how is this gonna be different from Love and Hip Hop the Flockers right Meet mm-hmm. the Flockers Meet the Flockers uh, because like Love and Hip Hop only scratched the surface like everybody saw me on there they saw that um, they got an idea of what the type of woman I was they saw me with my daughter they saw me pushing my business they saw me go through the worst separation ever with my husband. Mm-hmm. So in the tent, they kind of got to know who we were. Mm-hmm. Um, so people kind of trying to figure out, like, why did you take him back? Like, why? You know, I got backlash for taking my husband back, which is crazy. Um, but I think with Meet the Flockers, it's going to give an insight to people to understand why. Like, why we are the way that the type of love that we really do share. Like, who we really are as a family, as a, as a people. Like, people know Walker as this wild boy, this, you know, saying this, this off-the-chain guy. And they know me from, you know, swimsuits pretty much from mm-hmm. loving hip hop but they don't know us as a dynamic like what makes us like whole and I think it's good for people that we are young we are young married couple so right. I think it's good to see we're functional and dysfunctional people are going to make mistakes I'm just not the type of person I was just raised different and I feel like if a person is willing to change and they're putting forth effort as a wife why wouldn't you be there to you know well, saying I actually respect I know listen everybody's gonna have an opinion but yeah. I actually respect you for that because I've had hard times. I've been cheated on in the past, and I had hard times dealing with. You, you know didn't what I'm do saying? no cheating. You just got no, cheated. No, no, I didn't do the cheating. I got okay. cheated on. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? But you know something that um, you know one of my OGs in my family told me is that today's generation lets go so quickly. You know what yeah, I'm saying? One mistake like happens and you let go. Right. If you're in it for thicker and thin, mm-hmm. some shit might happen during the road. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, you know what definitely. I'm saying? And you know you're not supposed to just leave immediately. So yeah. I actually respect you for that. No, thank you. you know what I'm saying? Um, I you know, I'm not saying it should be a repetitive for 15 Absolutely. year thing. Absolutely, <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's over. It's, it's, it's a wrap. No, but you know, I, I you have to take in consideration the things. I'm not making no excuses for nobody. Like I left him. It was it was it was a wrap. It was very hard for him to come back. Mm-hmm. Like he had to fire some staff members, change his whole life and everything because. My whole thing is you're looking at if you're making those decisions, what type of people are around you that's not gonna tell you, hey, bro. You tripping? You got a wife. Let me answer that question, yeah. men. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm gonna get back after that shit. <laughs> but you know, but as a man, you have to start thinking about those things and not taking, not trying to make excuses. But you got to think about like if he's never, if he's never had a father figure. His father passed when he was very young. Mm-hmm. He's never had his father. You know, his mom wasn't married. You know, he he didn't have that figure. His, you know, he didn't. If you don't know what a husband is supposed to be, then how can you be that? You right. didn't have an example. Mm. So, well, can I also say something? Uh-huh. And I am a loyal guy. Let's right. just put that on record. I'm a loyal guy. Yeah. <laughs> but I need to defend Waka real quick. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I'd say this to anybody that dates anybody of celebrity status. Listen, men can be loyal. 
Is, is it safe to say that all men, how do I say this in a classy way, need new sex, need new vaginal, whatever? Is it safe to say that? That's just no, a thing in men? That's you don't not think safe so? to say. I, I think all the one man in the room. <laughs> so you think that we don't we we, we we think we need new penises? No, women don't. I don't think women think like that. You don't no, think we think? You don't think we think about sex too? Oh, hold on, hold what the hell they think we are hold different? Oh, I don't know. Sex. No, so, I don't know what sex is. Hold on. I don't think men need to act on it. But when you're dating a celebrity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. listen, we could say no to one pretty girl, right? And I'm I don't cheat. But if you have a bunch of girls that look like Tammy, the most fantastic women on the face of the planet Earth, not trying to. Well, and it. one approaches you, two approaches you, and every fucking day, like you could, you can't. There's only but no. so much you could fucking die. No. These girls. I'm gonna tell you like right? this. No. Right? No. 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 Let me say this. Let no. me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because the same way you have, okay, you have, you know, Walker. You like you just in that situation. Do you have me? And you have uh, rich niggas everywhere trying to come at you. You have uh, athletes. You have uh, street guys. You have you have. I mean, I mean, meals hitting you up, mm -hmm. and. You, are we supposed to budge on that too? No, no. See, maybe, maybe, See? maybe I'm confused. You are. I, you're no, no, <laughs> no. You're listen, 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 listen. Now we know why your relationship ain't working. <laughs> no, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know. I know. Women love sex just the same way men love sex, mm -hmm. right? But I don't think women need it the way men need it. Is that safe to say? Yeah, no. We need it. You're, you're, what Am you I wrong mean, about though? that? You want, that's why we be having attitudes sometimes. We be needing it too. We just. We just have to. Well, me personally, need new I, sex. I, I'm sorry, because you guys are comfortable having the same guy for the eternity. Right, but mm -hmm. but I will say this though, like as a woman, this is gonna, I'm gonna, everybody's <laughs> looking at me like I'm fucking the whole man yeah, you're culture. Just up. Up everything. <laughs> yeah. No, but I I will say this from me from myself, like women are more emotionally attached. For me personally, mm -hmm. like I can't, I won't. Like you know how many times like we didn't went through our situations and like this is I'm about to say this but whatever and um he's a you know I've caught him cheating or whatever and I'm like so angry and I'm like ooh. I wish I could just fuck somebody else to make you mad, but mm -hmm, I can't mm -hmm. do that. The woman I am, yeah. I'm not made up like that. So I would say something hurtful, try to do something like to make you feel, say something to make you feel little, but he, and he would know like, Psh, she ain't gonna go out there because that's not her. I would never compromise myself to get back at you. But you don't think we get angry we want to do something? You know what I'm saying? Do. There are some women that would like, shit, I'm gonna F your friend right now. I just How do you feel about way. the, we gotta, we gotta take a break in a second, but how do you feel about the double standard out here? Because, we already know the double standard. Right. Men can smash a bunch of girls and be like, oh, that nigga's a pimp. A girl can smash a bunch of dudes. They're like, oh, she's a hoe. I and mean, I've I, ha believe. I have married men that, I'm not going to say their names, but they have cheated before. And I say, why you do that? Blah, blah, blah. What if your girl cheats on you? You, you smash 20, 30 girls. What if he, she smashes one guy? It's over. Yeah, they like, oh, I'm leaving her. I don't agree with that part, but I do agree that men can like, I'm not saying can, but I think that we get stamped differently. And I mean... It is what it is. I mean, I will say men can do everything, but me personally, I just, I I'm, I can't. Because I, I don't want that. I don't want to be a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that label. So you could mm -hmm. be a hoe because you're going to make it. Like I used to tell Walker, you think you're making me look bad, but you're making yourself look stupid because there's men out there that's looking and be like, yo, this is he has a good woman. Like, mm -hmm. So you're not making me look bad. You're making yourself look bad. That's how I look at it. All right. We're going to be right back with Tammy. It's DJ Suss won the feature presentation. This is a good fucking interview, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's the feature presentation. It's DJ Suss One, co-host Ali V. Yes. Ta Do I call you Tammy Flocka or Tammy Rivera? <laughs> Tammy Rivera. <laughs> Tammy, 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 Tammy Rivera or Tammy Flocka? You said meet the Flockas, the TV show, right? Yeah, yes. that's just a hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy's in the building, all right? Yes. Tammy, um, we're going to get off the relationship shit in a okay, second. It's yeah. just such mm -hmm. a great topic. Well, we just figured your, your problem out. We got it. Psh, don't worry about it. Yeah. We, we just hit no, it without even knowing. We figure shit out. <laughs> what? Who wears the... The pants in the relationship. Who's the boss in your relationship? No, let's get down to the bottom of this shit. The bottom. <laughs> Who's the boss of your relationship? Okay, I let Walker be the man. He's the man in the house. But wait, wait, you said lit. I yeah, I let. So does that mean you're the boss? But you I let mean, him every, think he's the boss. Let, let me tell you something. Every household, the every and a, and a man, I tell you, the woman runs the household yes. regardless. Maybe and, and you you understand that life would be so much easier. Happy wife, happy life. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I know not to overstop my boundaries. I would never over talk him. Like I, certain things, like I know when he gets mad, mm -hmm. and it's something like if somebody says something, I'm like, oh well. And he's like, I got this. I'm like, okay. Because like, <laughs> if I'm in front, of him, if I start talking, he's like, did not say I got this. Like let me. I'm like, you right, baby. You got that. So I don't overstep my boundaries. So Tammy's loyal. Yes, why is do, that do you, do you so cook? surprising? I cook my ass off. Wait, you don't have a fucking sister? She's married. <laughs> we have to get her divorced. <laughs> right. So I meet the flaggers. Let me just ask, because obviously 
rumors were circulating right. and you actually stood by Waka Flocka when he made that statement about uh-huh. not being African American. Um, is that something that we will see on the show? Like the whole backstory to that? Did you guys have a conversation well, at home about it? No, I just, the reason why I can, I, I, I defended him is because I know my husband and I know what he means. Waka, he's very smart. A lot of people don't know that. He reads and he absorbs a lot of information. And like most people who have a lot of information, it drives them crazy when they start to you know, become awoke and they start to find out things that we were taught that were a lie. Mm-hmm. Which was this thing that Waka, um, he said on Instagram, and I agree with him, a mm-hmm. lot of people are stuck in how they were raised, raised. in yeah, their yeah, community yeah, they be, right. and never traveled anywhere, never saw anything else, so they just know what that was taught to them. To, mm-hmm. Exactly. But anyway, go ahead. So, and for me, I just know my husband, he he didn't deliver it right. right. He gets so excited and he speaks prematurely and he didn't. his delivery might have been messed up, but I understood what he meant. He was saying that, how can you title me as an African-American when they say Christopher Columbus discovered America and there was Indians here, but people not knowing, okay, they made us believe that Indians were light-skinned people with feathers on their head, but really there's Indians that were dark skin that there were black people like like you know all colors mm-hmm. so he's saying that y'all not going to tell us this is our history because y'all don't want us to know that we occupied this land before you you claim christopher columbus did but you're going to label me as african-american right. you understand what i'm saying so mm-hmm. i understand that like you know what he was saying about that me personally i don't want to be called african-american i'd rather you call me black or afro-latina before you call me an african-american mm-hmm. i mean that's just how i feel personally just from what the the statement that waka made Cause I'm a conspiracy theorist. He is too. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I felt it. I was looking in his eyes like he he knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he goes crazy. Is it a conspiracy theorist house? Like, are you a conspiracy theorist? Are you, you just know, looking at him like my crazy ass husband? No, him and Charlie, like my daughter, she's mm-hmm. twelve. They both are very like conspiracy theorists. Like, my daughter came in the other day. I told her it was so funny. She was like, um. Ma, do you know that they're saying that Katy Perry is really John Bernay Ramsey? And I'm like, what? All right, that's too oh much. Yeah, I promise you. Like, but he has my daughter, and he, but he, she tells me that, and I'm like, you crazy? She'll tell Walker. He be like, yo, there's some facts in this. I was like, yo, you <laughs> is egging her on right now. Like he listens, they, like they engage off each other. Like yes. she believes mermaids is real. Walker like, yo, Tammy, dead ass, mermaids real. Like Charlie Shore video. <laughs> well, some, like, pe- some people believe now. Obviously, I've been all around the world. I haven't seen a mermaid. <laughs> I believe it. Some people believe that that might have existed sometime in our history. People I, fucking with genes and DNAs and shit. I think that, I mean, what they say, 90% or 80% of the ocean haven't been discovered? Mm-hmm. Shit, it's possible. <laughs> yeah, and that's a good thing. A lot of people, and if you talk to people, do you believe um, like anything, like aliens or shit in the I ocean? I definitely believe tell in aliens. I don't believe in our government. I believe they hide a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in none of this European religion that they feed us. I don't believe in none of that stuff. I, I don't even believe in religion, period. Like, I, 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 I grew believe, up Christian, and do you, I don't believe in it. Anymore. I grew up Christian and Jewish. Do you believe rig, um, religion is a form of control? Absolutely. I feel like it's a form of control. I feel like I feel like God is love. I feel like the most high, whether you want to call him Allah, Yahweh, Yahshua, what you want to call. It's a, it's See, this is a household I could go eat dinner at. Tell Waka to send me the invite. <laughs> no, because this is, I could have this conversation all yeah, day. Yeah, you know, so I definitely feel like that. I feel like God is love, and I feel like the most high is all you have to. I feel like religion is just... People are so controlled. They want to tell you to do this and do that. And I think Walker, he's absorbing all this information now. So when he's speaking, he's doing interviews. I'm like, baby, you just got to watch what you say because you, people are not going to understand it. When you're mm-hmm. woke, people think you're crazy. I had an uncle who was an Israelite, and he would preach. And he would preach so much. like It, it sounded like hate. But he was just so full of knowledge, and he was angry that no one was listening. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I get it, you know? And I'm going to defend him because I know... I know him on the back end. Right. You know, so. Oh, I was going to ask. I thought you had some questions. <laughs> because I see, I see the question. She has some crazy questions on you. I'm just no, like, I oh, don't. So did you with the question. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're pursuing acting, right? Irv Gotti yeah. put you on um the series. What is it called? It Tales. Trap Queen Tra- Tales. Yeah. Tales. Okay. Are you going to like dive into that more? Yes. I actually did a stage play um a minute ago. It was called um, What God Joined Together. Mm-hmm. And um it was... Uh, psh- that was my first time doing it, and I love it. Yeah, I, I love that more. Like I, I love it. It was like easy for me to do. Like I like it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely want to do more. I love it. Too. Would you ever do a horror movie? I'm very big into movies, by the way. Yo, I'm gonna tell you this story. <laughs> I had a, I did a sizzle for a trailer for a horror movie, right? Okay. And I took my mom on set with me. Right? My mom is like very, you know, into Jesus and God, and she's like very religious. Mm-hmm. 
this lady, and I had to be this evil Latin lady. Mm -hmm. My mom. I was about to say something crazy. Yo, I swear it was crazy. That's like saying the same thing twice, an evil Latin lady. I was joking. No, I'm oh, joking. That is so I'm you know what? Stop it. It was a joke. Can we lighten up the mood? And that's why he's still <laughs> single. That's why he's single, girl. <laughs> and my mom put some olive oil inside of a little canister and I had to like act like I was chanting in this movie and act like I was like being possessed and she's like uh uh drink this drink, drink this olive oil God bless her from the head to feet please <laughs> bless her throat and any bad words to come out and she was going around the cast like putting hands on them I was like yo mom you never coming with me again like ever like ever she <laughs> Wait, made me did, feel like I was possessed did the movie ever come out I, I don't know what happened with I, they paid me for the sizzle so I don't know what happened. I don't know if they had the budget or they got the budget, but I did it. All right. Well, I'm asking because I'm creating horror movies uh -huh. and I'm one of the people that's not going to have the black people die in the first five minutes. Oh, good. So I thought, it, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought maybe we could talk. So you got your acting career. Yeah. You got music. I'm probably going to need a hook from you also. Definitely. Um, you got love and hip hop. You got the swimsuit line. Yes, definitely. Making look, girls look better out here than they really do in real oh, life. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's for curvy women. It's a little accentuate, you know? <laughs> he be right. He's terrible. He's, that's why you're he single, is. man. Nah, <laughs> you yeah. probably be telling girls like you cute, let like, get in the car, you cute, but you ain't all that. Like <laughs> no, I just he's the type. No. He's the type. I was joking. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be right back with Tammy. It's the feature presentation is DJ Sus One. Yo, so what up? It's that, it's that nigga, DJ Sus One, the feature presentation, <laughs> co-host <laughs> Ali V. What's going on? All right. My bad, she expected a regular radio nigga in here, and she got this <laughs> motherfucker. Tammy Rivera's Tam in the building. Tammy Rivera. Rivera, not Tammy Flocka, I'm sorry. Yeah, Tammy, Tammy Rivera. Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so talk to us a little bit more about the music, all right? Because we're about to close up, and I want to know everything you got coming. Well, um, I have Kisses that's actually out. The, the video released. Um, oh, yeah. the video's out now. Um, so, yeah, and you can get the song. It's available on Spotify, Tidal, Google iTunes I'm gonna release my next single called Only One after that then I'm gonna just drop the whole EP and just see how it moves <laughs> now, I'm excited man I was very yo I'm gonna say this again go check out her music I was very very impressed which is I don't mean that in a disrespectful way no, but I, I told you, you. I when people it. come to me in other avenues yeah. first before music it's like I have a habit of not taking it serious because that's right. been the routine with people yeah. I'm starting to yeah. take it more serious like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying Cardi B ain't got she got y'all thinking now huh yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> and your shit is lit um, thank you who is there are you being featured on anybody's projects coming up soon no not yet I come on yeah no I, I mean I'm sure I will in the future I'm just you know I've had people reaching out already like yo let me get that feature for you start popping for real for real like let me get that feature in real quick I'm like okay <laughs> you gotta be careful and not to bring it back to this fucking shit that we're talking about with um, men and women but you gotta be careful now being yeah. a beautiful girl and sending attention to these artists well, yeah can I get a feature come to the studio Oh, mm -hmm. see, I, I think they know. I've been, I'm, I've been in it, like, I, I move a lot by myself. Like, so there's times when I walk into, like, I've, I've walked into, like, ready rooms. There's nothing but rappers, and, like, I'm the only girl. But they just, they respect how I move. I, how you doing? I move. I do my interview. I keep it moving, like. They it's also respect how you that Waka will stab somebody directly in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, a nigga, I don't care who it is. I think a, a nigga's going to, a man is going to try his hand irregardless mm -hmm. if they feel like they got that opening, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even get eye contact I'd be like hi yeah, yeah. <laughs> you won't be like oh his girl checking me out on the low run. you know how men are they, yeah, can I be honest with you yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do you can look directly I've seen these <laughs> niggas out here is crazy you can look directly on the ground for the blindfold and just keep walking put something on your ass so you know it can't be seen and cover your face with a veil there's gonna be like yo she looked at me she my looked nigga. at she me looked like, at she, <laughs> yo, there's she no wanted way. me these niggas out here is crazy <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Tammy, I want to thank you for coming to the show. Thank you for having yes. me. I appreciate it. I want to not thank you for giving me a family member and telling me everybody's <laughs> fucking married. They're good women, so they're all taken. All right, where the f Oh, he was about to come for you. I felt <laughs> it. I thought they were the fuck are they, but they're all taken. Um, I'm looking forward to... Um, do you have an album name yet? I'm looking for one. I'm trying to think of one. I think I'm thinking too hard about it. Listen It'll to the flockers. To no, is that? Oh, yeah. Listen to <laughs> Yo, stop. He, he hashtag the meet the flockers. <laughs> would you guys ever do like a podcast? You and Rock a Flocker? Oh, no. that would be. I that would, would be. I don't dope. even listen to podcasts. I would no, listen to that honestly, shit. No, honestly, that would be sick. It just like. I told to him, I was like, maybe we should do like a segment where we, because we have these sessions in our bed when mm -hmm. my baby sleep. And you should just hear the dumb shit we talk about. It'd be crazy. Yeah. All right, so bring a recorder in the bedroom <laughs> yeah. and start putting these episodes out. And meet the flockers <laughs> is when? Uh, well, we haven't had a release date for that yet. Damn, no album, no release date, and you got all types of shit going on. Yeah. Yeah. She dropped it, Beyonce style. Yeah, I was going to drop girl. it. <laughs> she's gonna drop it Beyonce style alright well style. no dates yet but look out for Tammy she got Meet the Flockers um, she got 
all these kisses yes. all, all over digital and everywhere right now. She got a swimsuit line for curvy yes. women. T-Rivera.com. Right, I got to tell some of my boys because they definitely date curvy women. You got to <laughs> tell, <them to> <laughs> tell them to shop on there. And um, you got Love and Hip Hop still popping, right? Well, I'm, I'm out of contract, but you'll see me on a few episodes this season. All right, cool. Yeah. Mona, you're finished. And I was just oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Jesus I'm joking. Christ. Thank you for coming to the show, Tammy. Oh love you. You're one of the, great, you the, so great, the great souls in this game. Thank All you. Right? <laughs> I love following you. DJ Suss won the feature presentations, Hip Hop Nation. <laughs>